Hey guys, it's summertime and I wanted to let you know just how the house knows that it's summer. A while back, uh, probably about a year ago, if you look on my blog, I wrote about how the house will do certain things for school time. So in the morning at like 5.50, it'll start turning on the lights for the kids so that they can have breakfast, get ready for school, things like that. But now it's summertime, so we don't want the house to basically turn on all these lights. We wanna sleep a little later. So I built a sensor with Jinja. Um, so it's a conditional sensor that we use as a condition to know whether it's summertime. So June and July in Florida are summertime, so there's no school. So we want that to kick in. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how I built that sensor, how the Jinja works, and how we're using it in the house. So stick around and let's get into it. Adam's my favorite editor. I've written about it before. Um, it's just a good editor. I pointed at my entire project. So we're gonna bring this down here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna search for summer. So I have one automation that basically at the start of Home Assistant starting up. So when Home Assistant starts up, it checks, let's launch this, and it checks to see if it's summertime. So we have, this is just a straight up automation. Let's check if it's summertime. Uh, we're hiding it because we don't need to see it. The platform is Home Assistant. The event is start. So basically when the Home Assistant starts up, we then look, we have a template condition that basically looks at our date, checks to see if it is June or July. And if it is, it marks it as true. And if it's true, if this condition is true, we then will move on to the next step, which is turning off the school mode Boolean. So I have in automations, and I'll show you after, I have just a check in my automations to say, is it a school day? Yes, then let's go ahead and do our school day processes. But what I'd really like to show you is some of the Jinja. So what we can do is we can take this piece of code, we're gonna copy it, and we're gonna go over to our home assistant. We're gonna go to the templating section. So we're gonna click here, Here's a basic template so you can look at the structure, but this is kind of confusing. So we're going to delete all of this and we're going to paste in that code from before. And we're going to see that that comes across as true. So I want to break this down for you a little bit. What we do here is the first thing we do is we set a variable called month and the month is actually the value of this sensor date. So if we copy this, we're going to move this up just for, to keep it clean. We're gonna paste that here and we're gonna put it in squiggly brackets to get outside of squiggly brackets, it's just pasting what it is. And we're gonna say states and there you go. So here we have 2019, June 27th. So that's today's date. So the first thing we do in here is we're setting the month to the date, but we're splitting it. So the way the split works, if you look at the actual value of the date, we're using the hyphen as a split. So there's a hyphen here and there's a hyphen here, which gives us this part as zero. So we're looking for the, we're, we're making it basically an array and we're looking for part zero, we're looking for part one. So this is part zero. This is part, this is, oops. The second part is part one. Oh, so 06 is part one and 27 is part two. So if I were to, and then and then we take whatever that is, we make it an integer and then we we uh, we check it. So if I go ahead and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna say month, and now we're gonna see what it sees. So we're saying month. Now, this is just a basic if statement, so it's if, the variable equals six or it or the variable equals seven now if i take this part off it won't work and the reason it won't work is because if we put month here so we can look at what it's showing 
you can see it has 0, 06. So it doesn't match up. So by putting in the int, int, uh, integer filter, it just pulls off the leading zero. Another thing we can do is if we wanted to see what variable zero was, this will be the year. So there you go. So here's the year it pulls and here's the date. So I can, we could, if we wanted, we could look at all the various, you know, you can take any sort of home assistant sensor and then you can grab whatever information you want out of it using Jinja. So this was just a little tutorial on how this Jinja piece works for me. So we can get rid of this and we can put it back to the way it was. So let me get rid of that and there we go. So now we have set month equals the date, but just the middle part and make it an integer. Then we test it if month equals six or seven. So down here in Florida, the kids are off. Uh, their summer vacation is June and July, and then they go back to school in August. Um, and then of course we set it to true. And this could be anything, truly, like whatever, literally whatever you're putting in there. But if you use true, and we'll go back to our startup. If we use true, then this condition becomes true. It could be true or false. Both of those are valid conditions for this condition to see if we're gonna go forward. And then if we look, let's pull up a quick automation, our school time automation, which is a timed trigger. So if we go to 550, for instance. So 550, one of the things we do is, this is when the kids uh, start waking up, my wife starts waking up to get everyone ready for school. This, this school mode is one of the triggers. So now at 550, since we're in summertime, it triggers at 550. We look at our first condition to see if we're home. Chances are we're home. We look at the second condition to see if the school mode input Boolean is on. If school mode is on, we continue on. We make sure it's a weekday. And then we go ahead and we do some of our uh, some of our items in the morning to get the house ready for school for everyone to wake up but since it's summertime we use this automation to check see if it's summertime see if it's june or july mark it as true and then uh, turn that school mode off so this happens once on startup and it'll stay that way the whole time